Hey everyone and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, Own Your Health, and the new 10th anniversary edition of Unprocessed. And this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent, and sustainable weight loss. Well, lately I've been showing you what I call no recipe recipes using what I have in the house, so I hope you'll enjoy this one. And it's basically air fried cauliflower crowns. So what happened is I'm very lucky that I am one of the guest culinary instructors in the McDougal program, great 12 day program. You can take it online, you don't have to travel anymore. And when I do the cooking demos, I love to make things that are healthy and delicious. And one of my favorite recipes is my cauliflower bisque. It's also one of my most popular. It's actually based on a recipe of Mary McDougal's called broccoli bisque. The recipe has you put everything in the Instant Pot whole, the big hand of yam, the onion without even cutting it up and the whole two pound head of cauliflower. Well, when I was shopping at Rayleigh's, instead of charging per pound, they were charging the same price for every cauliflower. So I picked the biggest one. It was like 5.5 pounds and it just would not fit in the Instant Pot with the rest of the ingredients. So I was left with basically half of the cauliflower, so, and this is the crown. So what I figured I would do is air fry it. You know, that's kind of my motto. You know, in restaurants, when they didn't know what to do with something, they always threw like bacon and cheese on it. Well, in the plant-based version, when I don't know what to do with something, I repurpose it by putting it in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna place my whole crown in the basket of the air fryer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make a little marinade. And one of my very favorite marinades that I use when I roast vegetables or air fry vegetables is just mustard and vinegar, but not just any mustard, not just any vinegar. Of course, you can use whatever you like. I happen to prefer salt-free mustard, and my favorite brand is something called Primo's. It comes in both garlic and habanero, so I'm using the garlic. If you like spicy, you will love the habanero. So I'm just putting in, I'm not measuring, so I'm just putting in the mustard and then a little bit of vinegar. I love California balsamic, but any brand that is reduced will work. The 6% acidity vinegar, it's not only not delicious in my opinion, but it's too watery generally to make a marinade. So I'm just gonna put this in. And again, it can be an equal amount of mustard and vinegar, one of more, one of the other. I don't want it too liquidy because I wanna kinda have it stick to the cauliflower. That looks like about enough. And again, truthfully, I never measure. I don't, I would go crazy if I had to measure every time I cooked. So now I'm gonna just pour it over the top. Ooh, that looks good, it smells good. Try to get it in all the nooks and crannies. And it looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more. You've probably either heard of or seen recipes for oven roasted cauliflower. And I just didn't want to cook it in the oven because you know that takes a long time to cook something through like that in the oven. I would say probably an hour. So I just need a little bit more of the mustard. I'm gonna use the other end of the, well, I'm gonna get another spoon because I don't want to dip this in because it had vinegar on it. So we need some more mustard and I think I'm gonna be using up all my mustard, oh no. Time for another jar. This stuff's delicious. If you like Dijon. If you don't like Dijon, you can use a stone ground that's also available in salt free. This is like the real deal. All right, good. So I needed a lot more than I thought, but that's okay. But you notice how I made it thick enough that it's not really dripping on the bottom of the air fryer because I want it to stay pretty much on the cauliflower and I want to get it covered all over. Now, one thing I know people have told me they've done, if you don't like mustard or vinegar, they've taken hummus and they have roasted their cauliflower either in the oven or using the air fryer, just rubbing hummus on it. So. And truthfully, you could roast it with nothing on it. It would still be delicious because when you air fry, it just makes it magically delicious. All right, there we go. That looks like enough. So now I'm putting it in the air fryer and I'm going to put it on 370. Well, that was three, let's see, 370. And I think it's gonna take about 30 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Whoops, went the wrong way. There we go. All right. Five beeps. Okay, so then you just pull it out 
it's really hot, so be careful. You can transfer it to a plate. I mean, it looks like it's burned, but it's not. It's just the color of the vinegar. And there's another sauce you want to put on it, but let's just taste it. It's almost like a cauliflower steak. Let's see if I cooked it long enough. Mmm. It's such a good way to cook vegetables in the air fryer, especially if you don't like vegetables. I could cook it a little bit longer, a little bit softer for my taste. Most of the, uh, the topping, it kind of just melted into it. I was thinking that another great topping for this could be barbecue sauce, any barbecue sauce you like. I make my own using California balsamic and tomato paste. But basically, I'm just trying to give you ideas. When you have something, play around with your food, make it, and when in doubt, air fry it. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, and I truly believe you can have both the health and the body you so richly deserve. Take care.